microphone connected. Today I'm going to go over the King's interfaces. Basically, have two that you need to use as the King. Um, this one here is nothing more than an information interface. There's actually three interfaces. So this there will be like a a list here of people who have worn the crown, and I. I don't know what this means, this KVK stuff, I don't know, but anyway, you can see some information in here, and the current document is right here. Click on the Citadel again and go to Kingdom Settings. You can actually change the name of the kingdom. I don't know. We haven't actually uh, done anything with that. You can also select a flag. And I, I changed this just because I wanted to. <laughs> this was the default here. And I changed it to this one. So just cosmetic stuff. Nothing too serious. Close. Okay. And then this is probably the most important one that people are considered. You know, they consider these the most important. Uh, we'll go ahead and do the royal packages first. The royal packages, you get two of these. And you can see this is the epic Iron Citadel Castle for 28 days. There's more, you know, stuff that you get, more marquee chests, more gold, and the skin lasts longer. This one here is the Iron Citadel, gives your castle an imposing citadel appearance for 28 days. And this is the epic Iron Citadel. I haven't actually looked at the models. I do know the two people that got these uh, this time around. It, one was, uh, shoot, I'm drawing a blank if it was Dragon Reborn or if it was Terminator that I gave that to. I can't remember. But anyway, you have a total of 38 packages, and I still have one left. So uh, at some point, I'll give this one out. What I did as the king is I basically just went straight down the points list, and I handed out to the two key players, uh, the ones that would have planned the war, planned the battles. So Kaiser from crew got one of these. And I believe the other one went to, I could check my list. I've got a list because I wrote this all down because I wanted to have a record of it. There's no history. Actually, wait, no. See, the history doesn't tell you anything. The history actually just tells you who got what package it just it doesn't tell you who got what package it just tells you that they got a package so anyway i didn't intend to take one um but i ended up with the first one because it's you know me and buttons <laughs> you know so i was like i figured if i hit the button grant that i would go to a screen but i had access this screen from my from my, uh, I think from my profile, I can't remember, but I'm just, I'm, I'm horrible at buttons. That's why I ended up with the crown. So anyway, uh, we went over that one, uh, the titles. Okay, so Royal Packages is uh, one of the big items. And... Um, Let me, I'm going to go ahead and try to pull that up here because I think that's important for the kingdom anyway. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Uh, Kaiser and Terminator got these two. Now, I don't know. I know Elands, Dragon Reborn, Presto, and Cardiffian got uh, five of these. And I think maybe I got one of those. I'm not 100% sure. But then I have a list of people that uh, got the rest of these. I basically went down the points list. And so it was a good mix of players from, um, you know, uh, different alliances. But a lot of the players obviously were crew. But there was some res people in there. One, two, three, four... I think five, might be six, that got 
uh, into the top 38 or whatever that turned out to be. But uh, I didn't end up uh, giving one out because I wanted to preserve it. But anyway, so that's that's that interface. Now, the most important one that you all are probably concerned about would be you have the court titles and then you have the jail titles. And the court titles, if you click on this, it'll tell you what it is. You can view their profile. And from here, every player's profile has, you know, when there's a crown being worn, has a gizmo or a button right here that you can select. So if I go to somebody's estate, for example, and uh, I view their profile, see I've got a button right here that'll take me to this window. Now if you grant a title, that's the best way to do it. You find their estate or you find their, the best way to do it is to find their profile. So, I mean, the bad part about it is, okay, if I wanted to grant a title, um, I can't, you know, I have to know where your estate is or I have to have your name in chat because, you know, I mean, I can click on there and I can look at your, I can look at your profile and I can grant you a title. So anyway, we have one uh, title that's a good title that is, has not been given out yet because I've just been, you know, doing a lot today. So anyway, um, let's go back to the Citadel right quick. These are all invulnerable. Nobody can occupy them. Nobody can do anything with them. So anyway, so Lan, he's uh, he's got the construction speed, research speed, troop training speed, and these are all bonuses to speed. Um, resource production for Presto and storage protection, which that's kind of a weird one, but. <laughs> You know, because people that get these titles are not typically the people that are getting raided all the time. Mr. Timbo, troop training speed and troop upkeep. Now, uh, the bodyguard is training capacity, so it'll be 10%. So if you can train like 2,000 troops per go, it'll be 2,200. It'll still take you longer, you know, doesn't adjust your time. And then this is Dragon Reborn. He's getting steel consumption. And I talked to him about this today. Uh, this one needs to be pushed around. It needs to be like all the guys that have the real high end equipment like uh, Thunder Gear and stuff like that. What you can do is you get a steel consumption uh, rate decrease. So that's a that's kind of a big one right there there's also a construction speed of eight percent just like the chancellor does so and i'll go over that in a minute with the artisan the royal artisan the physician i gave it to elands because he has forty thousand troops in in the alliance hospital and i was just kind of hoping that he would be able to use this reduce cost and increase speed so maybe on a hundred day heal that will take 10 days off and 10 percent of the cost uh, bmf has the standard bear he's got an increased march capacity and troop load so he will get you know like if he raids somebody he'll, he'll be able to haul away more or you know he has to send fewer troops to go do gathering and then mr ghost man here training cost is minus 10 percent troop march speed 10 percent so not like super significant except for a couple of them now the jail titles, um, this is the leader of crew. His name is Karen or Karen, whatever. I don't, I don't know what, how you pronounce it, but anyway, he, these are your penalties. So it costs him more to train and his march speed is down. Uh, the eunuch is troop load, which I think that's a hilarious name, eunuch. Troop load minus eight. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to stop on that one. Construction speed, research speed, and troop training speed. This is probably the most uh, penalty-heavy one right here because it covers three. Um, and there's reasons why these guys got these. Uh, troop march speed minus 10%. Uh, that's not really a significant one. Uh, this one, uh, Hayen did not deserve this, but 
she is part of uh, the crew that is being penalized right now. Um, and the general, he's a coward. Not only because of what they did today in the, re the early part of this week, but he's one that always wants to have his name in the limelight and doesn't really do any planning or anything that, that contributes to what the Alliance was doing. So a quick story on all of these. These are all from uh, Crew Alliance, Crusade, with a K. And the reason they are all in jail is Crew had a rotational sort of setup with our leadership, and we trusted each other. And then we merged with the Korean Union, and we were literally neighbors. They lived right over in this area. And then... You know, we would hand the R5 off left and right. It'd be like, okay, who's going to be here this week? You know, I'm going to be real busy this week, so somebody needs to take R5. Because we wanted somebody in there that could, like, move buildings if necessary and do the things that the R5 can do, which is promote to R4, uh, kick an R4, uh, which, you know, I don't think we ever kicked an R4, but that's what an R5 can do. And, of course, there's certain buildings that a R5 can move, and I think that is just the fortress and the towers and r4 can put a silver mine you know put the resource stuff out and the gates out and you know probably both of those i'm not 100 percent sure but anyway so we would hand the hat the hat off you know left and right well when the, we merged with the koreans we started doing it with them like no big deal and every single time we would hand them the r5 they'd toss it back and forth like every four to eight hours and then I'd log back in and I'd find that I had the hat. I'd be the R5. And so I was like, okay, whatever. You know, no big deal. You know, we gave them the option to be in that position. If that was a, a, a cultural concern in terms of respect, we wanted to make sure that they were able to hold that position. So anyway, along comes KVK. Big drama set up by this knucklehead right here who went and apparently made some agreement behind everybody's back or maybe manufactured that he had done an agreement with somebody. And when we jumped into into 104 to fight the battle, this person that he apparently did an agreement with was sitting in the Citadel. I don't know if an agreement was actually made. I, I don't know that. And, and it really doesn't freaking matter to me anymore because... When the battle was going down, he ended up saying, that guy defaulted on the agreement. And then so we started fighting each other in the other people's kingdom. Now, how dumb is that? So anyway, he went about ordering everybody in our alliance to fight these guys. And luckily, I don't have any blood on my hands, but, you know, we did do some damage. I mean, I think we zeroed Leyen, which is total BS. Uh, and we ended up winning. I ended up going in at the end of it to help assign titles because I handed the R5 hat to Origami, who was the, like the true leader of Crusade, and told him, I'm, I'm tired of it. I, I need a break. I need to step away. I'm doing too much in this game. I'm going to give you the hat, and then I'm going to log off for the night. So I gave him the hat, went over and started cooking supper, and I noticed a, a notification on my iPad, and it said, I can't give titles. I don't know where the buttons are. So I said, well, uh, let me go try. So I jumped back on the computer, and I go in there, and I was like, okay, the only way you can give out titles is if you have the crown on. So I went over here, and I don't even remember where the damn button was to, like, look for info or whatever. And I can't remember what it was. Anyway, I click something, and next thing you know, I have the crown on. Well, I thought, no big deal. I'll just take the crown off, and I'll give it to somebody or leave it on the chair there or whatever. And so I uh, worked with Kaiser, and, and we determined who was going to get what roles. And so I assigned the roles to everybody. And even in, during that process, I made a mistake. I was going to give him the chancellor role. But while I was looking for info and trying to figure out what title to give, uh, I, I reassigned him to another one. 
<laughs> so anyway, I was really worn out, but I, I made a mistake at the beginning and accidentally used up a 24 hour cooldown on the chancellor title. So that one got wasted. But anyway, um, so I assigned all that. All that said everything, we rotated the, the hat that later that night. Origami told me, he said, give the give the uh, hat to uh, the general. You know, we need to show the Koreans some respect for their participation in the battle and for all the stuff that went on today. And so I handed it to the general. I woke up the next day and he had handed it to Charon, who has yet to give it up. And he demoted all of our... Uh, old crusade members down to r3 and below and um, basically became a dictator so he stole the old crew alliance and so today we all ended up leaving and we are now dispersed amongst all the alliances in the kingdom and these four have the jail titles right here the general is over here yeah he's right here and that's that so that's the king's interface, plus a little gossip and a little intel on what's going on in 102. Uh, if you have any questions about this, please, uh, you know, ask in our Discord or, you know, you can email me, I guess. I've gotten a thousand emails today, but they have definitely slowed down. Thanks, Kingdom 102, for what you do. I appreciate the uh, immense and overwhelming support that I have received from everybody in the kingdom. And uh, I hope we can stick with this and, and keep the, the bullies from from ruling over our kingdom and basically keeping us at war 99% of the time, which will burn us out. A lot of the smaller players would likely leave, um, you know, if there's constant fighting. There needs to be a power balance, but I don't think we need to be fighting. I think we need to be focusing on KVK and doing our best to to be strong for those fights rather than fighting with each other every time there's a kvk battle and uh it, they'll be hard enough without fighting each other you know t to fight against the opposing kingdom so we need to be able to work together and so once i got the crown i was like okay well i can't take it off there's no way to actually transfer it to anybody uh, there's literally no way to quit this game, even if they burn my estate to the ground. You know, that's that may be actually, that may toss the crown to somebody. But they would spend forever, you know, burning down my estate. You know, it's a level 32 wall. So, you know, it takes you, uh, one attack every 10 minutes will burn 100 wall damage points. So about 600 an hour. Okay, so if you divide 600 into 28,000, which I think that's the wall, we're talking about, what is that, 40 hours of burning plus? 45 or so? So anyway, I got off on a tangent there. Sorry about that. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Appreciate y'all.